are such an asshole. How you kids doing? Because I had to do this on Chrome, my audio may be a little bit off. I can't hear a darn thing. So if you could kindly in the chat room, let me know. Uh, one, you hear my audio. <clears throat> Zero, you don't. And then I'll just go. And I'm going to assume uh, it's working. Now, I had to do split screen because this is big advanced stuff for a boomer like me. And uh, this is a, a chart that Rolo came out with. And it absolutely has to be shared out there because I'm an economist. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, it's not shtick like, oh, I'm an economist, I'm friendly neighborhood economist. Uh, but it is true. I am an economist. And deep down inside, I have a philosophical desire for things to be efficient, for you to get a return on your investment, for you to not waste resources. And it, I know it sounds stupid, but it was my passion when I was younger and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and so this data came out. I, I got to say, this is the chart of the year. You guys remember me from my olden days when I had a blog and I, I wrote it. We love me uh, some charty goodness. Uh, but this is the chart of the year roll came out. And you may not be able to see it. I try to increase the font size as I try to do everything so you can see what it is. But what it is is the x-axis. That would be the one running horizontal. On the left side starts at 7 foot. And then I believe each movement down is i think two inches increments of two inches or, or maybe it's an inch but it, it doesn't matter you could look it up, up later and i had to uh <clears throat> bolster the font size there so you could see it on the y-axis the vertical axis and that is what percent of somebody who is let's say seven feet tall the far left bar there what percent of guys that are seven feet tall will pass through the filters of women on Bumble when they set a height filter. And so when you look at that there, it's roughly about 40%. About 40% of women have seven feet tall within their height uh, requirements, right? So that's how you kind of got to read that chart. That's why you may be looking at, so well, I don't understand the 90%. There's like three lines that are almost at 90%. They're certainly in the A's. Why does it, shouldn't it all add up to 100? No, no. It just shows you. What percent of, you know, who, in other words, what men with a particular height fit within the, the height requirements, the height range that women set for their dating profiles. And there's only about three things I really want to show with it. And already you could, you could tell, and I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was this bad guys. I really didn't. Moving from left to right, what you see there, that the tallest one, I marked that I changed the color red. You may not be able to see what's on the X, uh, the, the X axis there, but that is the most popular height. If you are that tall, you will fit into about 90, just shy of 90% of women's height requirements. You are neither too tall nor too short. You know what that height is? Six foot six. Six foot six. That is... That is the ideal height of women. And I always try to understand there's two sides to a coin. I understand there's two sides to a story. Uh, studying economics, you're always like, okay, how did they, how did they basically lie in the data? <clears throat> but then sometimes it's like this, like, no, you girls are just flat out delusional. You're flat out delusional. The, the website, I got standards, bro, where the guy, it's called the female delusion calculator. Um, it's it's not a joke. I mean, it's a, it's a tragedy is what it is, but it's not a joke. You girls are delusional. You've lost your flipping minds. Hang on. I just got to. No, I admittedly, Aaron, that's, that's just the, that's the most bad. They obviously have a rage. Yeah, I know, but hang on. Just hang on, a uh, percent of men. We all know that six feet tall is only 14% of men are six feet or taller. Uh, six, six. Um, oh, we're going through here. Uh, five, if, uh, 
One percent of men are six foot four, and the uh, the statistical. How many men are taller than six six? Three point five. It doesn't matter. It's less than one percent. It's a fraction of one percent. It's microscopically small. But then, hey, if you're six five or six four, you're almost as good. But if you look at that that one data point, you say, okay, let's assume within this belt that this this isn't bell. It's a omnidirectional or whatever. Um, let's assume within that being the optimal height that there's a bell distribution within that. So if you're plus or minus two to three inches, <clears throat> you're fitting. And you can kind of see if that pairs out. So if you're six foot eight to six foot four, there may be six foot nine to six foot three. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, ladies. You're gonna be, you're gonna be this off your rocker. I get to do is enjoy a bleeping cats. I, I everyone stock up on wine and egg freezing tech companies. Just load up on that stuff. That's the new Bitcoin. That's the new crypto. We'll all retire billionaires. Holy effing crap, Batman! Six foot. What is it, six foot six? <laughs> six foot six. I don't even know the tallest guy I personally know, I think is six five. <clears throat> All right. So then let's move. Uh, and again, I apologize for the font being so small on the x-axis, but the next one you see down there is there's that little green line. And that green line shows the biggest jump, except for the biggest drop, where it goes from like whatever six nine down to seven, seven foot bad. Seven foot, that's just two. six, six, six is fine, but seven feet, no way. Anyway, so that jump there is, and I guarantee you guys could guess it, is from 5'11 to six feet tall. Where you girls just got to have your little trinkets. You got to have your shiny little trinkets. It's all static. It's like my man think. It's just like buying a car. It's a car dealership, guys. Welcome to the car dealership. And what is that? That's about, so 30%. Well, just by the way, guys, if you're 5'11", only one in three of you are within the within the height range. 5'11". 5'11", only one in three girls want you. <laughs> but, but it, that, that almost doubles. Then it doubles. If you grow that magical extra inch... Now you're within 60%, a 30% jump, a 30% jump over an inch or two. I don't know. I, I think it's 5'11". I'm not sure. Oh, God. And so, guys, I mean, if you're right on that cusp, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. You go wear your little pumps or what do they call it? Lifts. Go wear lifts. Go get those inserts into your shoes. And you absolutely lie. <clears throat> Now, admittedly, Ryan Stone, he's, uh, you know, a girl doesn't know what six feet tall is. You know, how much is your is your teacup dachshund dog? Oh, about 20 pounds. How much is that? How much does that German shepherd weigh? Oh, about 20 pounds. It's kind of like Rain Man trying to tell you what a, what a Snickers bar costs. So I, I understand that. I understand this is what they say. Well, it's not even what they say. This isn't a poll. This is what they put in the algorithm. So it kicks everyone out who doesn't meet this this thing. So if you're a 5'11", guys, you lie. You go get the lifts and you lie. For everyone else, it doesn't matter. And if you go to the next little uh, mark that I have there <clears throat> that is uh, red, that's 5'9". That's where old Capmeister is. That's where the Capmeister is. And if you are 5'9", you fit only 15% of the women's heights requirements on, uh, on Bumble which I presume would be somewhat representative of the population of women at large. Uh, never mind all the other requirements you've got to get on the 437-point checklist. But the average man, <clears throat> only 50, we're not talking looks, we're not talking weight, we're just talking your bleeping height. Only 15% of women are, are even interested in you. And I guarantee you, if they set it from 5'9 to 6'5 or whatever, if you come in at 5'9, you're not there, you're like at the bottom of the barrel. 
to quote One Punch Man, I've been watching some of that. You're like a Class C, but you're ranked 342nd. You, you made it. You made it. You're 342nd. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, and then I haven't helped you if you're if you're below that. I haven't helped you. And so this is this is the point. I, I I am not one of these Doomer pills or black pill guys. I I'd like to pride myself on that a little bit. I'm not a looks maxing guy. I am, however, an empiricist. This is why I wrote the book of numbers analyzing the ROI and the pursuit of women, which the link is to it down below. <clears throat> because before you look, guys, if this was a chart showing what your percent chances are that you'd like an ice cream or not, that'd be one thing. Because let's say you got the wrong ice cream. All right, you're out $2.50. Let's say this was a, a movie you wanted to watch and your percent chances of finding it enjoyable. Oh, it's only 50% chance you didn't like that. You would like that movie. All right, it wasn't that good. You'd lost yourself two hours and seven bucks. Right? This is not that. You guys are biologically hardwired and programmed to expend at least the majority of your free time on women. And if you consider the fact you're all going to college and you're all investing, going to the gym to get the girls, the majority of your efforts and resources are expended on the pursuit of women. I did the numbers and another crunch. You could go get that book to book the numbers down below, right? But as the economist in me, you got to look at the numbers. You have to look at the data. Now, I'm no Pete, that guy who refu you refused to invite to social gatherings. Check out his channel. I'm not as dark as, uh, what's his name? Thinking, hey, who I guess is Stardust. I didn't know that. Uh, I'm not Wheat Waffles, who I think does way too much numbers and analytics. Right? And I do believe that there's always something you could do if you read the book of numbers. The last chapter tells you the mathematical things you can focus on to drastically improve your chances. But at the same time, I can't deny this, guys. It's the same thing when we had that be, be, uh, be a 10 or go home. Because you saw the difference in behavior, how that guy that if you didn't watch that video, it's a couple of videos back, be 10 or go home. Where he was... A very highly compensated professional. Uh, the other impressive fact of him that outdid that was the fact he was an incredibly good-looking man. He was a physical 10. <clears throat> and he didn't have to lift a finger. Now, he had to lift a lot of weights. He did not have to lift a finger. Why? Because he's exactly what women wanted. And they were throwing themselves at him. Right? Here is another variable. It's terribly sad. But since damn near, not damn near, half of you aren't even going to make the 15% cutoff, you got to start asking yourself some economic questions. Do I want to continue this pursuit? And not just that from a finance or economics or investment perspective, but a psychological and emotional one. I don't, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but pretty much give it up. <laughs> I don't want to be black pill. I don't want to, oh, there's no reason. And certainly there are things you could do to increase your chances. <clears throat> there is a chance. There's no, but it's going to take a ton of work. And I'm not saying don't go or do go. Although I did just say give it up. But what I am saying give up the idealism, give up the hope, and get your expectations in line with reality. And really go through what you got to do. If you, if you want to get the girl, sir, you better, one, be aware of these statistics. Two, not let it demoralize you or dishearten you. And then three, figure out, which is what the last chapter of the book, book of numbers, link down below. Like, okay, here are, like I think it's like eight or nine things. <clears throat> Obviously, going to the gym is one. I forgot. And the other one, I'll, I'll give away a little bit of the book for, for three. The two things you could do, go to the gym. But the number one thing you could do, ask a ton of girls out. And I say I think that's what the the point of this this chart is. If you are six six, <laughs> girls, right there, goodbye, out, gone. <laughs> if if you're six six, <clears throat> you could treat this like oh, it's just it's. I would say, um, what would it be? You you would you would it would be like. 
trying to sell people ice cream. People, you don't even have to sell people ice cream. They come up to you. They want to buy your ice cream. If you're a normal guy, it's like selling life insurance. It is a sales job. It is a numbers racket. <clears throat> so whereas if you are 6'6 six, six and the good looking guy, all you do is you show up and you open up your, your, um, your doors. The ice cream parlor is open. People will come to you. But if you're normal, it is a sales job. And sales jobs, any salesman will tell you, takes a lot of work. I just want you to be aware of that. <clears throat> I want you to be aware of that. And the other thing, and this is the only thing in my books in general, all of them, if you want, the only thing I can offer you guys is sanity. No, it ain't you. It is not you. And I think, thankfully, that with the internet now, we never have that confusion we did back in the analog days. Like every guy here my age, or you know, you can remember like go talk to your mom or something. You know, like logically, mom's a woman. Like what the heck? I don't get it. Oh, just to you, fit. Why? How many? How many do we have to repeat? How many? They're like you're fishing in the wrong hole. Maybe there's something wrong with you. Um, you know, maybe you just attract the wrong type of woman. Talk about defeat. It's like what? My genetic code only attracts girls that stand you up or weapons grade bipolar psychopaths. And you try every possible thing to do. Nope, it ain't you, dudes. It's the women. And it's very important you realize this so you don't go insane. It is perfectly acceptable. Let's say a, a, let's say you're five eight or five seven. Let's let's say you're one of our Latino brothers out there. Heaven help you. <clears throat> it's a perfectly reasonable and responds like dude i don't try man i don't try. why do you go what no I, there's no point and then when your mom why don't you get a nice girl porque armando porque porque no es chica in su vida porque you go mama las chicas es grande Delusion. What's delusional? <clears throat> I'm sure we have enough Latino agents in the field you can tell me. <laughs> Look, here's the chart, Ma. Here's what do you do? I, you just and you could you could you could have it as a conversation. Not that you, this would be a conversation you want to have. Why well, you gotta go? I'm too short. Oh, come on. No, dude. Here's the chart, or you can link this. Here's the data. I got more important things to do with my life. I got one life. That's why I spend time with the kids, teaching them soccer practice. I don't know. Uh, this is why I focus on my career. This is why, I, oh, sure, if there's a really cute girl and she's short, I mean, this obviously would help you guys out. You're like, you don't ask out a girl taller than you, even though I have hypocritically dated a lot of tall girls, majority of which didn't work out with, by the way. <clears throat> but you're like, okay, here you are. Like, you better go after the five two ladies, guys. Or you just like, no, oh, I'm not, I'm not even gonna get that excited. Dude, talk to any guy who's got gray hair and say, hey, if you could just like not have the confusion, if we if you could go back and remove the confusion and the frustration and the insanity that came with it. Because nothing you tried matched up with the real world. All it was was you were whatever, short, you weren't a 10, whatever. Would you have had this chart? How many of you? Oh, gosh, I bet. It, let me. It's going to be hard to do this. <clears throat> In the chat room, I'd love to see this because not everyone is pre-internet. Not everyone has lived in the analog days. But for you old timers out there who do who did hit puberty before the internet and the dating sites and all that, what would you do? What would you pay today to go back in time and show your younger self this chart? I guess this is also assume that you guys are. I don't know about you guys, but man, I pay a hundred thousand dollars. I pay a hundred thousand dollars. Not joking. Go back in time. Like here you go, little Aaron. Do you understand now? All right, I just saved me a ton of pain and confusion. I just saved me an inordinate amount of time, money, pain, frustration, and confusion. Here it is, little Aaron. Here's the chart. <clears throat> now go get your doctorate in nuclear engineering, you dumbass. Go to the military first, then get your doctorate. Trust me. Just trust me. Okay.
Don't move to Wyoming. <clears throat> Just save you a year there, buddy. But now we can do this. We can do this now. Here you go, boys. Here it is. Here's the numbers. Act accordingly. Get your expectations in line with this reality. And by God, do the deep drill dive into the data as to what you can do. And as I said before, be as good looking as you can. Go to the gym. <clears throat> Ask out a lot of girls. There are other things you can do. Go get the book if you want. But I just want to give a hat tip to Rolo. I want to give a hat tip to Bumble or whoever put this data or this chart together. But this is telling. Like this should be, this should be shared with every, not because it'll help me get the subscribing and all that, though that too. But if you got any younger boys, someone like Eric, I'm going to show you instead of this chart. If I could, if I if I wasn't so lazy, I go back and retroactively put this chart in every darn book I've ever written. Like here you go, here's your data, here's your statistics. <clears throat> so that's it. I just want to share that. So I had tip to Rolo. I don't know. He writes books or something. Let's go through the super chats here real quick. I hope the audio is all right. Thank you, Bumble. I mean, I, that's another thing, like these dating sites, now that the, the internet has really taken the, the cover off of it, it really has allowed us to peer behind the curtain. I was like, oh, this is it? Okay. I don't want to hear anyone complain, oh, you just gave up. You did it. No, you don't get to complain. No, it's a perfectly logical choice. It is a perfectly logical choice. I think this chart, we just literally saved over a billion hours of human time today and into the future. Jacked and stacked, hardcore self-improvement, five books, brutal. It's over, fellas. It's it's not over. I mean, I'm a short guy. I'm five nine. Although I, I'd love to see this data from back when I was a younger guy. I'm sure it wasn't as skewed to the left. Um, it's not over. It's just going to take an inordinate amount of work. That's all. I, that's all I'm saying. You're going to have to be the ballroom dancing guy with a, a banking career and making six figures. And even then, it was a pain in the ass. By the way, pay for it. There you guys go. I mean, how many other ways do you want me to save you lots of time, money, and, and, and uh, mental health? So I don't I want to say it's necessarily over, but it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of work. Uh, <clears throat> Taiwan Do, two euros. Cappy, what if you were 5'9 with 6'4 energy? <laughs> okay, guys, look, I, I can't speak for a young person today who's 5'9. I went above and beyond the call of duty. I I literally have asked all thousands of girls. It also helped that I was a ballroom dance instructor. I did that for 14 years, <clears throat> sometimes seven days a week, two to three hours a day uh, during busy season anyway. Um, and you, you just, and even then it was pulling teeth. Even then. Yeah, I did 30 by 30. I think I'm at 32 or 33. It's a little hazy. <clears throat> I did good, yeah, but it wasn't worth it, not in my opinion. Not the energy and effort. That was one of the main reasons I wrote the book of numbers. Because it wasn't worth it. Like If I were to do it differently, you, know you have to do it differently today because there's online dating and, and, and the dynamics today are different. But I wasted so much time chasing tail, so much time. And you could have gotten, <clears throat> if I had, obviously, if you had the wisdom now that you did back then, or the wisdom that you have now back then, you'd all save a lot of time and effort and energy. But I probably could have gotten 25, 26 of the girls with, with one-tenth the effort if I knew what I was doing and not wasting my time trying to, you know, there were probably some other tells and all that. <clears throat> but uh, uh, having confidence, bro, I mean, it's not going to hurt. And when, when you say having confidence, uh, it usually means you speak well, which means you have to have courage enough to go talk to the girl. I say courage is, is more. Confidence is like, well, you got to. That's why I always hated the, the body language stuff. It's like, dude, you either you either have confidence or indifference. We just go up like, hey, how you doing? Or you don't. If you're afraid or cowardly, that will show in everything, your speech, your tone, and your body language. 
you're either going to ask that girl out or not. And once you commit to that, you stop worrying about it. And then you just walk up to her like she's a guy like, hey, how you doing? I noticed X, Y, and Z. You got a boyfriend? <clears throat> energy. Hey, our energy. Are we going to start talking chakra crystals and astrology signs now too? You're already dead, Blythe. Until you accept that, you will no longer be able to function like a soldier. Without remorse, without care. Traveler, 4444 for 10 generous dollars. 65-year-old, yep, a boomer. We won't hold it against you. Five foot nine, married for, well, yeah, back in the day, though, that was that was probably higher than average. Uh, married 43 years, five kids, retired with a six-figure pension. Awesome. I'm available again. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, man. I'm just laughing at the... At the sadness of it all. I'm, I'm just, jeez. Here, let me tell you another little sad story about the book of numbers. <clears throat> Marriage statistics are hard to measure because there is always new people entering in, in and, uh, and leaving the institution. So it's kind of a move and target. And it will change day to day. I'll be at microscopically, but over enough time, it will change significantly. <clears throat> and there's one thing I didn't know about marriage statistics. It can only get worse because you can only have more divorce. You can't stay. The people are very, oh, they're married, according to the statistics. But a certain percentage of the ones you claim were happily and successful married are doomed to divorce sometime in the future. I... Really, guys, is this worth it to you, man? Is this worth it? 65 years, you're married 43 years, and now, now, great. Oh, God. But I don't want anything to do with the available women today spending the money on myself. Yeah, man, I wouldn't. I can't imagine. I cannot imagine. You'd be going after gals maybe maybe older than me. I, I can't imagine. 43 years. You should spend it on you. You spend enough on your, on your wife and kids. That's, that's logically you should. <clears throat> oh my god well and it's the same thing as the the perfect 10 dude who emailed in like he's dated he came out kind of similar he was not as old as you but older and he was married for a better part more than a quarter century <clears throat> he's like what is wrong with these and he's done he's done man 43 years all right oh any more left Uh, Jack and stacked hardcore self-improvement, five bucks. Just have a good personality. <laughs> right, bro. <clears throat> Smile more, dude. And, uh, what are the other ones? Be yourself. Be yourself, man. Just be yourself. And, uh, what else? What else is there? Be yourself. Maybe you just attract the wrong type of girl. Maybe you're fishing in the wrong hole. Oh, you mean the hole that is called the English-speaking world? That's a pretty big hole. And there's some other hurdles of me fishing in the non-English-speaking world because I don't speak non-English. <coughs> oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm Man, I'm hoping we're freeing you guys. I, I hope to God someone's just getting out there and we're freeing from some of you. Or it may, at least making life not so confusing and less painful. Uh, Traveler 4444, two bucks just to add, I have never been divorced. Uh, wait, were you the guy who was divorced? Or you just 4444? Were you the guy that had the kids? Wait, four or three years. Do with that. I'm available. Oh, you just got some on the sly? Okay, that's cool. Or maybe you never got married in the first place. That then see if that's that you're the you're the smartest man alive, a boomer that knew not to get married. It's awesome. Okay, so there we go, guys. All right, the link to the book of numbers is down below. I did not do this so I could sell the books. This just coincidentally happens to to sell well with this topic that we're having. So if this chart isn't enough for you, oh, that book's plenty of charts, plenty of data. <clears throat>
Also, I link down below. You want to do something to improve your life? Hey, instead of spending the $100 on Fifi, who is never going to show up, why don't you take my course, Achieving Financial Excellence? That's linked down below. Uh, invest, for God's sake, invest in yourself. Invest in, in becoming wealthy. I don't mean that in a financial sense. I mean that in a financial management sense. Like, isn't that kind of the same thing? Like, yeah, but to become wealthy, you need to learn to manage your finances. And to manage your finances correctly, you need to have a philosophy on how to do so. <clears throat> so link down below there. Um, and that, that'll be a bad, look, guys, I'll tell you this, studying personal finance, whether you take my class or not, doesn't matter. Studying personal financial management is going to be a way better investment of your time and money than, than dating a girl right now. Just, just do that for, or at least like, I know you're going to want to chase the girls, but promise yourself this for every minute you spend chasing the girls, uh, you spend an equivalent amount of time, like reading Dave Ramsey's books, getting bachelor pad economics, just going on YouTube searching, how does a 401k or an IRA work? Will you guys please do me that favor? And then for every dollar you spend on a girl, on a date, you spend an equivalent amount throwing it into your IRA or 401k or 403b or whatever you have. Will you guys promise me that? Because you will save for retirement. You really will. But then I won't get the girls. You weren't getting them anyway. Dung is fun. Two bucks. I'm only five foot, 12 inches tall, not quite six feet. <laughs> oh, Traveler 4. Yeah, thanks for another. Oh, your wife, Pat. Oh, why was I so cynical? I'm sorry, Traveler. Well, that was good. You were married 43 years, and I hope it was a good, happy marriage. Yeah, and I bet you if it, okay, see, it puts a whole different spin on it. She must have been good then. And you're not going to, you're not, they don't make them like that anymore. They do not make them like that anymore. <clears throat> no. But hey, at least you got to have her. That was great. That was good that you had her. That's still pretty young for her to die that early though. North, south, two bucks, super tall guys, die young ladies. You get the cat. No, they don't, they don't. North, south. Oh, by the way. I'll make a more official announcement about this later. I do have a clips channel. I just set it up a couple days ago and I'm taking just short little clips and, and the best of there's only two videos up there now, but uh, Cappy's clips. And um, I don't even know if you could search it and find it. Cause I tried to search it and find it, but I'll make a more official announcement later. But um, uh, for you North South, you need to understand the perfect mental state. PMS. And I did not mean the acronym to come out that way. That's just the way I described it. Girls do not care. They want what they want. And they will not even entertain anything different. And you must understand that perfect mental state. It's a little bit more deep and philosophical than that. But they don't care if he's going to die young. They want him to, to live long. They want their super tall guy who lives long and they're going to get him. You know why? Because they will not settle for anything else. But Aaron, in the real world, they can't, you know, some of them are going to die. They don't care. In their mind, not in reality, their mind, that is what's going to happen. They want to live in that delusion. That is the ultimate thing in their lives understand that and there's a whole video of it over on the clips channel a lot of men are that way too it's called delusion it's called uh what's it called uh, cognitive dissonance but this this is goes beyond that um, do, 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 do. i think that's all we got that's it that's it that's it i think that's it that's it all right see you guys later too